All right, so this is the third example on angle of depression. I have several of them. You can check them out. Each one, each example has its own video. I also have uh, some examples on angle of, ele of elevation. You can check that out. All right, so let's look at this problem. It says, from a window 30 feet above the street, the angle of elevation to the top of the building across the street is 50 degrees and the angle of depression to the base of the building is 20 degrees. Find the height of the building across the street. All right, so let's go ahead and just draw a picture. And so we've got a, let's say we got a building here. We got a building here. And there's a window and we're right here. And it is 30 feet above the ground. And they are telling us the angle of elevation to the top of the building and the angle of depression to the bottom of the building. So we've got an angle to the top and an angle to the bottom of the building. All right. Now, remember, the angle of elevation and the angle of depression okay, is always measured off the horizontal. Okay, so this would be our angle, this would be our angle of elevation, and this would be our angle of depression. Okay, all right, so we'll draw a horizontal here, we'll go straight across, okay, and we know that the angle of elevation is 50 degrees, so that's 50 degrees. The angle of depression is 20 degrees. And we want to know the height of the building. All right. So let's see. I guess one way that we could do this is Let's see, we know this is 30 here. Okay, so we know this is 30 feet from here to here. All right, so, well, we don't, we don't need to calculate that. And let's see, actually, we need to find that. And once we find X, we can just add it to this 30 here, and that'll give us the total height of the building. Okay, well, if we look at this, they, they don't tell us they don't tell us the distance from one building to another. Let me extend this on up so we can see that this is one of the buildings. All right. These are buildings here. All right. So since we don't know this distance, we need to find this. We don't know this distance. Well, we actually we could find this. Let's call this, I don't know, we'll call this D, okay? And look at this. We know this angle. We know this distance. And we know this is a right angle here. And this is a right angle. All right. So look at this. This triangle here, look at this. Opposite, adjacent. This is the hypotenuse. So opposite and adjacent, that's what? That's tangent. So let's find D, and then once we find D, we can use that to find X. All right. So we know that the tangent of 20 degrees is equal to opposite, which is 30, over adjacent, which is D. And then if we solve for tangent 20, well, the D comes up here. And then if I, if just say if there's a D there, if I divide both sides by tangent 20, I'll end up with, whoop, I'll end up with 30 over tangent 20. And so now, punch that in your calculator. So 30 divided by tangent 20. Make sure your calculator is in degrees. That's 82.42432258. So what I'll do just for <clears throat> for the video, 
I'll round it to one decimal place. And as I've said in my other videos, if you're doing this for online homework, like my math lab web work or something like that, you want to carry all these decimals out, okay? Because you'll get a rounding error and it'll it might tell you it's wrong. So, but I'm just going to round to one decimal place just for the purpose of this video, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and erase that and let's label this 82.4, okay? And now we can find X, all right? So now I'm gonna use this triangle here and look at this, there's my right angle, that's opposite, that's adjacent, opposite and adjacent's tangent again. So I've got tangent of 50 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent, 82.4. And so X, if I multiply this, that's gonna be 82.4 times tangent 50 degrees and so bring out the calculator again so I get 82.4 times tangent 50 and that is 98 point and I'm going to round it to one decimal place 98.2 and like I said earlier if you're doing homework for online homework to enter your answer in don't don't round okay all right, so now the height is going to be the 30 feet plus this distance, x, which is 98.2. And so 30 plus 98.2, that is going to be 128.2 feet. And that is feet, right? Yes. And we're in feet. So that's the height of the building. So check out my other videos. Uh, I hope this one helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.